Hey there beautiful creatures, it's Kayla. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, I'm Kayla. I am medicated, caffeinated, and enlightened, and today I wanted to do just this full face of glam. I want to do a red lip, I want to do a wing, and we're going to do lashes, we're going to do the whole thing. So grab a snack, grab you a drink, get you a nice comfy seat, because we're going to be here for a minute. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. I don't edit, so what you see is what you get, what you get is what you clicked on, so you might as well like and subscribe. We love to have fun around here. My face is already clean and primed and ready to rock and roll. I primed it with the watermelon dew drops from Glow Recipe probably about 30 minutes ago or so. For foundation, yes, we're going to use a foundation today. I'm going to use the AOA Studio Buildable Satin Foundation. I'm going to shake it up. It says to shake it. Shake well on the bottle. I'm going to take... A little dropper here and I'm just gonna go I don't know how much I'm gonna need probably not even that much and I'm gonna take an AOA studio um, high definition brush this is the F7 looks like this it's a nice little dense angled brush and I'm just going to start blend this into my skin how you doing? How you been? I'm doing okay. Doing pretty good, actually. Winter is upon us, so my seasonal depression has gone away. Not really, but you know. Makes me feel better that it's cold outside. <laughs> my bones don't like it, but the rest of me does. I'm blending this everywhere except for the eye area. I don't want any of it there. We're going to go in with some concealer. That's from AOA Studio as well. So whatever's left over, I'm just going to blend down my neck here. Make sure everybody's up cohesive. How we looking? Looking good, looking good. Oh, what are we whining for, Reebs, huh? She's in the chair behind me here. I don't know if you can... There she is. Oh, and there's Wink. And there's my messy background. I'm I'm slowly working on it. I will get there one day. And when it happens, I will let you all know. And I will tell you all about it. So, but for now, just ignore the background. And let's focus on, on my face here. Okay, for concealer, let me grab my concealer brush. Why didn't I get one out earlier? Silly. Oh, I'm going to use another AOA Studio brush. This is their uh, high definition E107. Looks like this. It's a nice little angle brush. And this is the AOA Studio Top Secret Concealer in Porcelain. So I'm just going to dip my brush in here, load it up pretty good. And I'm just going to go to town. Covering up these dark circles, these blue veins. So I'm going to go on the eyelid, under the eye. Let me pick up some more product here. Whoa, don't get it in your lash line like I just did. <laughs> Use a mirror, y'all. Use a mirror. I'm using y'all as a mirror. Hope you don't mind. Oh, shit. Okay. Let me actually grab a mirror so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Where everything's a mess. Everything's always a mess. Alright, let's put some concealer on the other eye. I love this concealer. It's, uh, as you can see, it's in a pot and it's really creamy. Really full coverage. I'm barely dipping my brush into the little pot here. But as creamy as it is, it's really hydrating, but it's not uh, creasy, which I enjoy. All right. Concealer is on. Put the lid back on. That's rule number two. Rule number one is we don't eat the guinea pig. That's, that's the rule. <laughs> all right. That's all the cream products I'm going to use. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face. I'm going to use this big fluffy brush right here. 
and my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Translucent Powder. I'm just going to swirl my brush into the pan here, and then I'm going to swirl it into the cap. And then I'm just going to tap this on the concealer first. Swirl it in, swirl it in, tap it on. Alright, I'm going to dip a little bit into the cap here. So we can go ahead and set the rest of my face. Just a touch. I'm just going to sweep over it lightly. So when we go in with bronzer and blush, it doesn't skip. I have normal combination skin. Oily through the T-zone. Dry a little on the outskirts. I'm just buffing this all in now. Make sure that there's no leftover powder any hanging around anywhere. Mm. Alright. And that's the complexion so far. How we feeling? How we looking? Let's take a look here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not bad for just a couple of dollars, right? All right, let's continue on. <laughs> Something that's not a couple of dollars, it's a couple of, a few dollars, is this Ofra palette. I got this in a boxy charm. It's a bronzer and highlighting palette, and it's also got some contour in it. We're going to use all three. I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to start with this one, and I'm going to use a Wet n Wild uh, angled contour brush. I'm just going to dip into the powder here. And this is going to go right about here in the typical contour area kind of at the hairline into the, you can kind of see where my natural hollow is that's pretty much where I'm putting this and then blending up don't go down go up same on this side I really like these powders. Ofra has something. Ofra has something. It makes me want to try their blushes too. There's a little bit of contour. I just dropped my mirror. Hang on. Oh, please hold. Okay, got it. It's fine. <laughs> it just slid off my leg. Okay, let's go into the shimmery bronzy color and let's bronze a little bit. Just just a touch, just like right here on the cheek, top of the cheekbone, up onto the forehead and the temple here. Just a little. Starting right about here, and then just blending onto the cheek, up the forehead, onto the temple. Let's take some of that contour color and do it down the nose here. Just either side. Like so, like that. We're going to use the highlighter that's in here too. Let me grab the... I'm going to use this kind of flat paddle brush for the highlighter. I'm just going to pick some up on one side. And it's going to go right about here. How pretty. Oh, I love highlighter. Anybody who doesn't love highlighter, I just don't understand. It's so beautiful. Makes me feel beautiful. Why this little pop of just fucking magic makes me feel so good. I don't know, but it does. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> okay. A little on the end of the nose. A little on the bridge of the nose. Cupid's bow. We're doing a red lip today. Did I mention that? Yes. So let's continue on with the face. I'm going to set it. I'm going to use my Illamasqua setting spray. I got to grab it here. I forgot to get it out. This I got in a boxy charm as well. It's their Hydro setting spray. I really, really like this. Just going to give myself a nice douse of that. Grab a fan here. There we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Love this base we got going on. That 
highlighting moment. Oh, oh, love it, love it. All right, let's continue on with this, this mug here. If I could not drop stuff, that would be nice. Okay, let's put a little bit of brows on. I had to think a moment of what we wanted to do next. But this is the Ultra Precise Brow Pencil from e.l.f. I have it in the color Auburn. Turn my mirror around here. And we're just going to touch the front right underneath the bottom. And then kind of just follow my natural hairline with just little little strokes, little doot doots. Give myself a little tail here. Yeah. Alright, and once you got the basic shape on, I'm going to take the spoolie end and right here in the front where we just drew that line, I'm just going to fade it up and out. Like so, like that. Just a little bit of structure compared to no structure. This is my worst brow over here, so let's see what we can do. Let's outline that right about there. And then we'll just flick it through the rest of the brow. I gotta draw a pretty big tail on this side. Because there ain't much hairs there. But that's alright. That's the fun part of makeup is contouring and making different, I don't know, shapes and... Here, I'll get a little close and show you how we flip out the brow. Like before, I had no brows. Now I got a little bit of a brow. Oh yeah. Get everybody to lay straight. Kind of fade out that tail a little bit. Alright, my loves. We have a brow. ka -chow! Okay, for eyeshadow, I'm going to use this Super Shock Shadow. It's um, from ColourPop. It was their Robbie D. Christie collab. It's in the color Mycelium. It's so pretty and so reflective. Yes. So this is going to go pretty much all over the eyelid. I just want something soft and sparkly because we're going to go in with some liner. Yeah. Just a subtle, subtle shim shim. I need to get me some more Super Shocks. I love the Muppets collection that just came out. Oh my gosh. Everything in that collection looks so fucking cute. Especially the Miss Piggy stuff. I love Miss Piggy so much. So much so I collected her and other pig memorabilia from the time I was really young until into my early 20s. Kind of ran out of room for collecting over the years, and I still have a few of my favorite pig figurines, uh, including my Miss Piggy. They're packed away somewhere. <laughs> All right, here's the shadow. You recommend some Super Shocks? Let me know down in the comments which one's your favorite, your go-to, because I need to know. Okay, for liner, uh, liquid liner at that, I'm going to use this LA Colors Eye Marker in brown. You can go with black, but I don't do liner very often, and black's a little bit intimidating, so brown it is. <laughs> okay, so I have hooded eyes, so I'm going to look straight ahead, and I'm going to draw, like, the tiniest little baby wing you ever did see. We doing, Wink? Holding my breath. Do you have something like that? <sighs> tiniest little baby wing you ever did see, am I right? 
Let's see if we can recreate that over here. This one's my troubled eye because I have a scar over here too. So we're just going to see how this goes. Not very well, but that's okay. We just want the tiniest little baby wing. A hint of a wing, if you will. So we're going to put some lashes on today. We're going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Faux Mink False Lashes. I've worn these once before. They look like this. They're really wispy on the sides. I don't know if you can. Oh, can you see? Ring light to the way. Oh, there you go. See how they're flared out at the ends? Really, really like that. Okay, let's put this lip on while we're here. I'm going to use an LA Color uh, Lip Liner. This one's in Forever Red. I'm just going to line my lips. I'm going to overline the top lip. What's your go-to red? I love a blood red. I don't have any, but I love them. I haven't found any in a drugstore version that I like quite yet. What's your favorite drugstore go-to red lip? Let me know. All right, there's lip liner on. And the lipstick we're going to use is from Revlon. It's their, what do they call it? Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Fire and Ice, number 720. This is like their classic orange-red color. It goes with that liner perfectly. Oh, this is regular bullet lipstick. It is not, you know, I mean, it will transfer. So, be careful. <laughs> Alright, let's put a little bit of mascara on. Where's my mascara? Oh, it's over here. I'm going to do just a touch. You can do mascara and leave it at that. Um, but we're going to do lashes today, maybe, if my back is going to hold up. I may just meet you over on Instagram with the lashes on. Will that, will that work? Let's put some mascara on. Cue the theme song music. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Feeling very holiday in this sparkly look here. I'm gonna pull my lashes out to the side just a little bit, very Lauren May Beauty style, to kind of match that winged liner we got going on there. holding my breath again. Goodness. A little on the lower lashes as well. Both sides. Like so, like that. Alright, it's already been about 20 minutes, so I'm going to leave you here. And I will meet you over on Instagram with, with some lashes on. But I feel super glamorous right now. So pretty. I want to put some earrings on, take some pictures, change out of this hoodie, maybe put something cuter on. I don't know why I am going to Walmart later today. Mm-hmm, going to get fancy for Walmart. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stop rambling, and I will see y'all in my next one. You are my people, my coven, and I will love you forever. Bye.